uh, today we actually have members of the Seymour Pink effort, and we're joined with Mary Deming, my left, and Mary, what is your role in Seymour Pink? Um, I'm actually the founder and president of Seymour Pink. Excellent. Nonprofit organization here in Seymour. Excellent. And Teresa Conroy is on your left. Hi, I'm Teresa Conroy, and I'm on the board of directors, and I'm also the publicity director for Seymour Pink. Oh, wow. Excellent. Okay. And Marcy White? Yes. I'm currently fighting breast cancer, and at 30 years old with two young kids, I only had one option, that's to survive, and I couldn't have done it without Seymour Pink. Excellent. And Excellent. Lisa's Envy. Here's one. <laughs> <laughs> and on your left is Lisa Toygo? Yes. And what is your role in Seymour Pink? I am the owner of Envy Hair Lounge and Wig Center. Okay. And I got on board with Mary. I gave her a call because it was time for me to give back to the community. Mm -hmm. We have a wig center that's untapped in the area. Okay. And our first meeting was bringing Marcy aboard. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Now, yeah. where is where is it located? Where are you? Located? We're in the Oxmoor Plaza, um, 225 West Street, but... Okay. Um, Route 67. So oh, okay. CBS okay. Plaza. Oh, yes. Okay. Thank you. Sure. So, well, thank you very much, ladies. I appreciate you coming here today. Um, Our pleasure. It's, 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 uh, it's obviously we've done a lot of different things so far on the show, and historical views and things like that. Um, the Valley United Way, Valley Community Foundation, which, you know, you're, you're affecting not only people's lives, but you might, you may literally be saving lives effectively, um, which is, which is really an amazing thing. So, uh, so Mary, if we could just start with you, and, and feel free to chime in, ladies, you know, to add to what she has to say. But sure. the uh, how Seymour Pink came about, what, what was the, sort of the driving force to form? Well, first of all, I, I want to thank you, Mark, for, oh, no for allowing us to come on here. The, the, the deal for us is to get the word out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Seymour Pink has a history of probably back to around 2006. Um, at the time, I was teaching Seymour in Seymour High School Anatomy and Physiology, and we were doing a fundraiser mm -hmm. for a local gym, Peak Fitness. Oh, yeah, sure. So my anatomy students formed teams, mm -hmm. and we decided to name the team Seymour Pink and play off the name of the town to see more pink. Oh, wow. Awareness. Oh, that's really yeah. cool. Like so that. that's how the name came to be. And we did that fundraiser, and kind of went quiet for a couple of years. Then mm -hmm. I started doing the Susan G. Komen three-day. Mm -hmm. and, um, and just for the viewer's sake, I mean, most people have heard of Susan G. Komen. It's a 60-mile three-day walk that you okay. raise money for breast cancer. Um, I did it for two years, and I left the second walk uh, just moved by how much money people could raise. So mm -hmm. I came home to Seymour, and I spoke with four friends of mine, and I said, I want to just blow the top off it and raise mm -hmm. as much money as possible for my third walk. <clears throat> oh, wow. So we played off of the name of Seymour Pink to, right. to make T-shirts and sell the T-shirts. Pick a day, proclaim it officially Seymour Pink Day, mm -hmm. and that's what we did. Um, but the, the interesting thing that happened is on the way to selling T-shirts to raise money, right. a community heard a call. Wow. And it was just mind-boggling um, that that year before we were even the real deal of a 501. Mm -hmm. We raised thirty-eight thousand dollars. Wow! Uh, to donate to Susan G. Komen for the wow. three day. So that was the beginning, and that was back in two thousand nine. Is is when we raised all that money, but we didn't become the real deal mm -hmm. until the April of two thousand ten. Oh, okay, okay. So that's us, and okay. to date we've probably raised, oh God. Uh, since it's been official, well over $160,000. Now, back then you said how, how many people were in that original sort of... Family? Well, it wasn't, it wasn't organized like that. It was just four or five of us. Uh, I spoke to one friend, and she decided to do a golf tournament. I spoke to another friend, and she did a wine tasting Oh, for me. okay. I spoke to another friend. and So there were four different big fundraisers that went right. on to raise that $38,000. Oh, I see. But it was at that point we realized... Uh, we needed a, an organization, right, exactly. and that's when we came. We, okay. It's a long process. Oh, sure. To, oh, to become, but we we are the real deal, and um, very 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 happy to be part of it. So, how big is the organization now? How many people? We have actually seventeen board members. Okay. Um, and then a whole bunch of volunteers sure. in town. Yeah, so, sure. uh, as is witnessed here uh, oh, with yeah. the panel today, they uh, are absolutely amazing people. Yeah, it's great, and I'm sure you get also volunteers. Regularly, and yes. then just for specific Abs events. Yep, and absolutely. Like that. So that's really good. Yep. That's that's amazing. Um, so as far, I guess, Teresa, your role mm -hmm. in publicity, right? Publicity. This, this being one of them. It uh, is. And uh, what have you taken the publicity from 
uh, when you started, you were just you know a few mm -hmm. members. Um, do you know even what like what number member you were in this? Oh, roughly. I'm not sure. I don't want to say number thirteen, but that's okay. not in my head. Right here. Okay, that's fine. I'm good number. I'm thinking, okay. I think I'm thinking you're right. Number thirteen. Um, okay. Mary and I both have a history of going back. We've been community volunteers since the Pumpkin Festival. That's where oh, I, I okay. met Mary. We were on the Pumpkin Festival. Yeah. And that's Seymour's Pumpkin Festival. Yeah, Seymour's yeah. Pumpkin yeah. Festival. Yeah. Um, and I did the director of publicity or the publicity chairman back then for um, the Pumpkin Festival. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And Mary, she was so good at it, Mark, that we said, hey, <laughs> you have to come on and do it. Exactly. Hey, so that's and I'm sure that's, I mean, doing that kind of thing also makes you in the public eye as well. Yeah. So people get to know if, it, if the word is out on whatever you're doing, like the festival, then, you know, who's the one that's doing yeah. that? And exactly. That's and it's a lot of work. I mean, Seymour Pink, Mary um, is probably the easiest person to say, um, yes, I will do it. <laughs> because oh, okay. she has that yeah. way about her. So yeah. all of us came on board saying this is a great uh, cause. We want to support our community, and it's just branching out mm -hmm. every day. We get more yeah. and more volunteers. Yeah. And Mary pretty much lives Seymour Pink. She has a full-time job as a Seymour wow. school teacher. I teach uh, high school here mm -hmm. in Seymour. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll be starting my 41st year, mm -hmm. so I'm still a rookie. Uh, <laughs> and what Mary didn't say in her beginning lead on and why she got this started, right. I think it's important that Mary shares that story of her first year of teaching. I agree. I agree. Well, let's see. My first year teaching, um, I was teaching in a Catholic school up in uh, Middletown, and um, my mother passed away my first October teaching from metastatic breast cancer. Okay. My senior year in high school, she was diagnosed with breast cancer. Um, then in college she got, uh, while I was in college, I think it was a freshman year, she got lung cancer and then it spread to the brain and she passed away oh, wow. that October, my first year teaching. So um, been about 41 years since she's been gone. And uh, you know, like, like all of us, when we deal with death, we don't always have the greatest uh, uh, defense mechanism sure. for it. So sure. sometimes we put our head in the sand, mm -hmm. and I did that for probably 35 mm -hmm. years. So oh, wow. uh, it wasn't until you know this started to happen, and I realized that th this is where I'm meant to be. Mm -hmm. So good. that that is. Thank you for sharing that. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, it, it's an amazing thing, absolutely amazing. Absolutely. Sure. So there is a lot of word to get out there. We have a lot of the events to go on, um, but probably the most important is the statistics. For the state of Connecticut, mm -hmm. we're number two in the country for the amount of breast cancer. And the town of Seymour um, itself flip-flops, as Mary says, between Southbury, Shelton, Shelton and Seymour is one wow. of the highest in the state. Wow. So we have a very high incidence of breast cancer that we need to make sure that we're helping the victims and their families wow. with any support that we can give. I, I, think, I think that's why pink is so big. Oh, I, yeah, I, I, sure, I think yeah. it's big because it when, when we started to do this, and I thought it was just about selling T-shirts mm -hmm. and raising money for a walk. All of a sudden, it wasn't about that so much. Right. It was about the fact that the people in this community, yeah. not just the town of Seymour, although we play off the name of our town, right. that the people in this community have been impacted, as is witnessed by Marcy. I mean, yeah, she's 30 sure, years yeah. old, and she's yeah. a breast cancer survivor. I mean, at 30 years old, you're not supposed to be fighting this. Yeah. No. That's yeah. not, that's the, that wasn't the hand she, she was supposed to be dealt. Sure. So, uh, you know, and... Uh, you know, she's like a hero. She's our hero. She's smiling. I mean, she's it's our hero. And, I don't, but I don't, going I don't back know to what Teresa that. said about being number one, Connecticut, or, I'm sorry, Connecticut's the second. It, it's very important that you do self checks on yourself. That's how I oh, found sure. it. I'm not old enough for the mammograms yet. Sure. I just had my mm -hmm. last gynecological exam mm -hmm. back in July, right. and then in February I found it myself. So wow, it would have really? gone undetected if That's I amazing. hadn't done self-checks. been for years. If somebody, been wants, been for if somebody years. wants to learn about self-checks, where, where is the best place for them to go? Your well, OB. This, well, the American Cancer Society has a whole uh, deal on its website. Even Coleman will, oh, and it has okay. literature that you can print oh, okay, off. Uh, there's so many things you can just Google. Sure. Right, today. of course. Self breast exam. That was a very good thing, too, because uh, again, being so young, like you said, cancer doesn't looking. discriminate. Not, it's no. going to oh, find yeah. you if oh, it wants, yeah. and yeah. it does not discriminate, it does not hold back. I was doing self checks because it is in my family. My aunt dealt with it. Oh, okay. So I was a little bit more aware. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I did self checks quite often. And thank See, God. that actually brings up the question, too, to me, like, because there, obviously there's a huge genetic component to this mm -hmm. in, in a lot of cases. Right. But then when you mentioned, like you mentioned three towns, two in the valley. Mm -hmm. So then I'm thinking, is there something 
you know, there's in a the lot water. of we, well, literally. <laughs> yes. I mean, seriously. Well, that's the thing. We, you know, we <laughs> talked to we, we talked to the the Economic <laughs> Development <laughs> Commission <laughs> in Naugatuck, <laughs> and what they you know this used to be the Mm -hmm. the most polluted river. It's now second exactly. cleanest, right? Because yeah. literally all because kind of all the industries have moved away, and now it's all you know technical and not you know at least not as predominant. <laughs> Could that have played a role? Do you think we really haven't could? seen the re any research studies done on the area around okay. here, okay. but we do know the Naugatuck Valley, uh, the Naugatuck River, was highly polluted with sure. PCBs and toxins. Sure. Right. And, yeah. you know, we have the falls right down there, which is one of the right. greatest falls I in the know. state of Connecticut. Yes. But it aerosolizes all of this oh, in, into point. the air. So, yeah. you know, until some studies are being done, yeah. uh, we don't know exactly yeah. why yeah. this area yeah. is so high. But that's a pretty good hypothesis. Yeah. Are any, do you know, are there any ongoing studies, or is it just sort of... I don't know, but that's, some, yeah. that's a great question that I would I like to yeah. yeah. um, I don't I mean, know of any. I don't know of any either, but I, I will tell you, you, you mentioned a little while ago, Mark, that, that the genetic uh, mm -hmm. uh, input Mm -hmm. Interesting enough, if 100 women were diagnosed with breast cancer, only right. 5 to 10 of them are genetically. Really? Yes. Oh, I so, apologize. So, so oh, now you've off. got mm -hmm. 90 women walking around who did not get it from a gene that was passed on to wow. them. So then where did it come from? And right. the answer obviously is uh, environmental. It's mm -hmm. lifestyle. Mm -hmm. It's whether or not we smoke or drink sure. or, or, or we're now, exposed the, to. The way no. you just listed that, is that sort of the priority? No, or not, really? not necessarily. Any environmental... Uh, you know, pollutants, as, as Teresa has mentioned, is, is certainly a factor. Right. Uh, you know, there's some stuff out there about how we prepare our foods and the use of plastic in microwaves sure. and microwaves and that kind oh, of yeah. stuff. I don't, think at this, I don't think at this time you can rule anything out as to what. I think, I think that's fair and to it's say. For, and it's for um, but I definitely, on top of. Yeah, right. And, right. and, and, and that's a fair. great point, too, is that it doesn't really matter. You know, we say that, that uh, Seymour Pink is a community's fight against breast cancer. Right. But when we go out to speak... We really say it doesn't really matter yeah. what, what cancer's name first name is. That was one of my okay. first questions to yeah. you. Like yeah. as a as a choice, you you really zeroed in on we something did. which is very prevalent. But my first thing is, well, why not make it about other right. cancers? Right. Or, and we've helped other patients uh, with oh, you know, sure. sure, not just breast cancer, but we focus on breast cancer. Yeah, I mean, you do have to have uh, yeah, a focus, yeah. right? And, and that's I've co-captained the team for Relay three years. Oh yeah, right. Um, and that's any cancer, any cancer. Right. Wow. And you know we were major fundraisers in all three events. You know, and where we was top. this? Where was this? We did two in Middlebury, and okay. we did one in Shelton. Sure. Oh, okay. Um, well. Becomes a lot of work. It, it is a lot of work. Yeah. I don't know how Mary does it. <laughs> a lot of work. That's great. Well, I, I have a captain for I two don't years. Do it. I, 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 <laughs> the, 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 the reality of it is, I don't do it. The community does it, and that's right, the thing right. that you know we need to get across is is that the idea may have come from one person or two people or whatever, but this is a community's fight. Yeah. And you just have to walk around with us for a day and see how many people come up to us. I mean, the first year mm -hmm. we did Seymour Pink Day, mm -hmm. I made it a point to go around to all the businesses to thank them for, you know, using pink in, in any way that right. day or what wearing is, what is What is Seymour Pink Day? What is that? It, it is a day that we uh, have the town government mm -hmm. proclaim officially Pink Day. We, okay. we pray that everybody will wear pink. Okay. Think pink, right. decorate pink. Okay. And we've been really, really good uh, on getting people to wear pink because we have designed, and mm -hmm. this is our yeah. 2012 like t-shirt. That. It's very nice. Um, it's very nice. We design a t-shirt, we sell, and we hope they'll wear wow. the pink. Now, Absolutely. you know, would we like them to wear this and nothing else? Of course, because we raise money. Sure. But we sure. want pink. Okay. So to that, that... Sorry to interrupt. Is yeah. that Seymour Pink Day... Uh, annually, like a particular day of it the is. year? It is. It's usually the third Wednesday of October. Oh, so this okay. year, okay. the official day is October 17th. Okay. okay. Um, and that's our shirt. Our shirt is actually uh, designed, this is kind of interesting, our mm -hmm. shirts are designed mm -hmm. by a contest. And oh, we wow. Hold, mm -hmm. uh, oh, that's a good we idea. We open up to anybody from 6th grade to 12th grade. Mm -hmm. um, and they have to be a resident of Seymour, but they don't have to go to Seymour School Systems. Oh, okay, good. Um, that's good. And the winner chosen by a panel of judges, right, right. Uh, receives a $300 scholarship. Wow. So That's really um, nice. this year, the winner of this shirt is a Francesca Del Preti. She just graduated oh, yeah. from Seymour High School. Mm -hmm. And uh, love, love the idea of support. I and like if, it. you know, we're going to battle this, then we're going to conquer can cancer. Yeah, that is so, really yeah. good. It's a beautiful it's like, thing. Oh, that is really good. Mm -hmm. It's almost like, you know, when they used to do, like, the triangle for fire prevention or things right. like that. It has right. that sort right. of, like, what you need. But in this case, it's yeah. all positive. And then it yeah. all comes you know, together. This is great. It's like the community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's really yeah. cool. Sure. And, I, and, and the circle in the middle. The, the middle circles are Yeah, I just logo. noticed that. At that first, logo, I is, if you notice, it's the pink ribbon. Yeah. But it's 
it's positioned in such a way that it's a community holding right. hands. Right. I mean, all at first I thought circle. it was a shadow of the front yeah. to the back, but it's actually you're right. No, that is a sea like pink logo. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it is. Okay. Because it, they're holding hands, right? Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. Yeah, it's cool. So that's the community. Have you actually trademarked that logo? Is that registered? We are in the process of it. Yeah, we are in the process of that. Absolutely. Cool. Yeah, we've got some great things going on there. Oh yeah. So the October seventeenth this year. Okay. Um, wear pink, think pink, decorate pink. We got a corner on wear pink, but this year we decided to help the community um, think pink and decorate pink. Mm -hmm. So Marcy's got some stuff. Marcy, want to show yeah, Actually, really I do have a question for you. Oh, yeah. If somebody did want to buy the shirts for this I was coming just up, how much yeah, exactly. are they going She's for? Great. You're hired. Leave, Marcy. You are hired. Oh, my God. You are <laughs> when this show's over, sign the papers. I borrow, I borrow, I borrow down the slot. That's, That's awesome. awesome. My, you um, know, Actually, starting this week, we're going to have okay. them in about five different stores. We're going to have them over at Envy uh, okay. Salon. We're going to have them in Hair Intrigue, which is next to the movie theaters. Oh, okay. Down in Seymour Town Hall. Okay. Uh, Tickled Pink, the store downtown, and right. uh, Seabridge Pharmacy is going to carry them also. Okay. So, what about at the Strand? Uh, no, we, no, we're not going to carry them at the Strand. Okay. And uh, if, if anybody involved with the school system we can get them through the different schools. Oh, good. So we'll have and there's also, is there a website, right? Isn't there, you guys and we do a have a website, absolutely. And uh, we do deliver, you know, within reason. So... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we we have a PayPal account, and you can. Oh, that's we good. Have that's other, very convenient. Other, but okay. Yeah, so so makes it a lot easier for yeah. the customer. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. And if you if we deliver, there's no you know shipping or anything like sure. that. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Besides which, we like to meet. Have people. you gotten orders so, from all over the country? Oh let's God, say, no. and things Well, like one that? of the, one of the things that we have this year, and, and Dolores Conroy, who's one of our uh, board members, came up with this uh, idea. She's a marketing wizard. Um, she said, well, you know what? Let's do this. Let's let's send a letter out to businesses. And mm -hmm. say to them that if you buy, if your employees or you purchase these shirts mm -hmm. before September 14th, mm -hmm. um, in quantities of at least 10, right. we're going to sell them to you for $8 instead of $10. Oh, wow. So uh, I'm proud to say that we got a uh, order on Friday from the oh. Human Resource uh, group in downtown with staff works. Oh yeah, and sure. yeah. Um, they ordered 19 shirts right off the bat. Wow! wow. And we've had Thule come in with 150 to 160 shirts. Oh, Basement Systems last year was 170. Now, That's when someone amazing. buys when someone buys a shirt, how much of the proceeds to pay for that shirt goes towards the shirt itself or towards the the? Foundation? So if a shirt was ten dollars, right. Uh, we get 50% of that because the oh, really? the, to produce the shirt costs a little bit less than $5. Oh, okay. So that's a, a fairly good profit. Wow. Yeah. That's a nice shirt. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> yep. I'm like, that's amazing. <laughs> yep, yep. yep. That's and great. we do have a limited supply of hoodies and long sleeves, but okay. that's a very first come, first serve, one shot deal. That's do all. you make anything for pets? We don't. <laughs> yeah. That's a great question. I, well, <laughs> a lot of people dress their pets up now. Oh, yeah. I, I, well, I, I people have better pets than themselves. Oh yeah. But you know what we do get is a onesies. People want onesies. Oh for yeah, pets. that's right. Yeah. So, oh yeah. right. Those yeah. are the easiest. Well, I brought that up for two reasons. My my last dog before my current one actually died from cancer. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, got me thinking about there's the pet mm -hmm. cancer right. society which I'd never heard of, mm -hmm. and chemo and all this other stuff. We we really didn't even have time to do that for him. Between the time it was two weeks from the time he got diagnosed mm -hmm. until we had a mm -hmm. it's very prevalent. In, in it was yeah. just yeah. you know he was only seven. Oh, yeah. It was really he was very young, mm -hmm. but you know ever since then it's, it's like anybody else. I guess mm -hmm. all of a sudden something like that hits you and you know personally, and you're just much more aware and yeah, tuned with awareness. you know nobody Absolutely. should have to go through that kind of Absolutely. emotional mm -hmm. thing. Let me tell you, and you know, but um, so anyway that's why I asked. What's the what's the website? Yeah, what is our, our website is www. How many W's? Three. 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 <laughs> yeah, <yes>. <laughs> <laughs> www.seymourpink.com. Okay, good. Yep. Good. And, and uh, we're on Seymour's, Facebook. And that Seymour spelled like the town. Like right? the town. Okay. And we're on and will Facebook. will you be selling these items that I'm about to show? Would you like to sit here? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Am I asking? <laughs> <laughs> Am I asking? <laughs> no, you're questions? fine. Uh, well, you're I got really funny today. <laughs> Go for it, Mars. Go Are they going to be online as well? Or no, no, they're, they're not. They're only going to be sold in a few places. Okay. So Marcy's going to show you some of the things we decided. She goes from hosting to being multicasting. This is Vanna White. Exactly. Vanna Pink. Vanna White. Last name's White. I asked. Actually, oh not to get off base, I wanted to name my daughter Savannah, but um, because our last name's White. Can everyone, you imagine? Oh, my so. God. Anyway, yeah. so <laughs> this is um, a dollar. Yep. You could stick these in your garden, in your yard, uh, yeah. by your mailbox, decorate, right. and let's see more pink in the valley. Yep. Yeah, that's We really also cool. have candlelight bags. Whoops. Oops. We have light pink and dark pink. Okay. These are also a dollar, and... 
Oh, your wow. battery operated. Oh, neat. Like a luminary right battery. Right. Yeah. 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 And then you could yeah. line up your whole put, walkway. Put them in your, your, put them in your window. Your yeah. window, yeah. exactly, yeah. inside. That's oh, that's cool. We also have the stickers. Are these like for your car kind of thing? Put them for the your car, windows? for your uh, window. Yeah, any kind of window. Wherever right. you want that they, yeah, yeah they right. peel right off and they stick on. Mirror in your These bathroom. are $2. <laughs> for the whole sheet. For the whole sheet. Really? Oh, I thought. For the whole sheet. Oh, $2 wow. for the whole sheet. <laughs> 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 All right, oh, that's it. Yeah, that's love it. Oh my God, we're going on the road with this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Lord. And then I think my personal favorite, the fight uh, for yeah. the cure. Actually, yeah, yeah. and if and you turn you that a little bit, a, you can do that. That's cool. You get a stick. And again, you can put it in your front oh, yard, yeah, by right. your front door, in your garden, by by your mailbox. Right. Out and back, you can wow, buy however really many nice. you want. Great wow. for gifts and too, right? It's yeah. contagious this, because the oh, first yeah. year I ever saw pink out, I said. I'm missing something. Yeah. Something's going on in town, and I'm missing. And oh, I hate yeah. to miss anything. So you have to actually <laughs> exactly. look into yeah. why is everything pink right. today? Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, so be the first to get it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> this is four dollars. <laughs> yes. Man, oh, man. Four dollars. Yeah. Oh my God! Nice job, Marcy. I'm telling you. And okay. we all know that those other lawn signs will be out there, but this that's will be nice. That's what I was nice. thinking. Yes. I was thinking the same thing. Break I was up like, man, let me tell you, community. that's a lot better than some of the other that's signs. Right. Exactly. All the time. And you know, I like to see that on every other lawn. You know, that's, that's no. That's I mean, you know, it's great to there. break up. You got all the green and the beautiful flowers, mm -hmm. especially that's true. this time of year. Yeah, if you have like a butterfly bush or a lilac It'll, bush or something, yeah. that would go exactly. really well. Exactly, it would go perfect. Put it right in back and have it stand out. You're supporting the not only community but the cause and yeah, that's really loved ones. We just wanted to help the community mm -hmm. um, because I think their intention is there to to do, to get to be part of it, but how do they do it? And sometimes they don't have time. So this yeah. way here, we're going to kind of have two or three places that we're going to be selling these. One mm -hmm. I think is this Friday night. Uh, this coming Friday night, which will probably be after this show. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Uh, but at the, the Black Party Dance, mm -hmm. Seymour Pink will have a oh. booth, oh, being able okay. to sell these products for anyone to pick okay. up there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there'll be a few other opportunities in we'll be at the, the Pumpkin next, Festival the next few months. The Pumpkin Festival, right? right? Now, when you Festival. now at Seymour Pink is the fund, but do you position yourselves outside of Seymour to do things as well? In other words, would you go to a, an Ansonia Festival or a Shelton Festival or even beyond? We would. That? We would if we had the time and, and it wasn't uh, a conflict. Absolutely. Uh, okay, yeah. Good. Absolutely. Good. I mean, we because. It's a great question, Mark, because the Seymour that we speak about, or the community we speak about, is not limited by the boundaries right, exactly. of this town. Absolutely. As is cancer has no boundaries, right. then why would That's this right. Seymour exactly. Pink? So right. we've helped people who have been up in Waterbury, who've been in New York City. We, mm -hmm. we, we're not limited to. Oh, wow. um, it just de it just depends on on, on the application. Mm -hmm. Good. Can I ask yes. you another Go question? Go for it. Mm -hmm. Would that also mean that? Uh, not non-residents can come and join Seymour Pink. Oh, sure. If they wanted to help sure. out. Yeah, it's not. Uh, we you don't have any kind of stipulation. No, no we that's, have that's a really good question. Because there are a lot people. of boards and oh, commissions God, yeah. Yeah. in the area. Yeah. Either you have to work in the town. No, or, right. no, okay, no. Which, not you know, at all. We have no good. limitations at all. Okay. You know, it, uh, it, it, that's a really good question. We yeah, have yeah. Uh, board members who live far outside of Seymour mm -hmm. and can make the commute. So that's, that's on it. And, and volunteers too. I mean, you know. Yeah. Oh, sure. Um, I mean, why would you I'll, turn I'll away a yeah, volunteer, no, that's, right? That's I'll, good to know. I just yeah. put whisper to Teresa. So that's good. You know, yeah, that's yeah. good to know. Yeah. Yeah. I'll put a plug in right now for uh, the, the, the. We're going to do a 5K race on October 6. It's called Pounding the Pavement for Pink, and mm -hmm. uh, we're partnering up with Seymour Traditions, which is a softball program for okay. young girls here in the valley. Mm -hmm. um, we actually have someone who just uh, applied to run the race, and she's from Australia. Oh wow. So did we get the word out or what? <laughs> wow. yeah. I think what brought it's her here? What's going to be? Here? Well, there is a small is, connection yeah, to the United States, uh, uh, and uh, so she's here and uh, wow. caught wind of it and said, you know, I'm coming up for it. So wow. yeah, and uh, wants to be. She'll be with us for about a month, and during that period of time, you know, really wants to get involved. I think that's what happens. Oh yeah, sure. I, I, I think that's what happens. You know, with the with with the. Um, Internet and things like that. I mean, you know, things, thing, good things can oh, go viral. Yeah, you know, you, you, a lot of stuff that goes viral isn't necessarily always positive. But when something like this, oh, yeah, yeah. for a good cause, and it's like you just post something and then mm -hmm. you know, like, 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 and then boom, yeah, it's just, yeah. it's amazing, and and it's and it's very inspiring, really, it when you right. when you see that, and it's for some, you know, like I said, you're, you're, it's one thing to affect lives. I mean, when you're actually saving somebody's life or cha or affecting significantly the quality of their life, that's the, you know, what I'm saying, you could be going through treatment, and you know, just. From that point of view, if, if the treatment somehow becomes improved, and the, you know the chemo isn't as taxing on you physically, things like that. I mean, that makes a difference. I yep. mean, that just each and, day. And Marcy exactly. will tell you. And Marcy speaks for a, a lot of the survivors. When we're helping them get through it, 
uh, sometimes financially, uh, as right. the two of them will sh share with their their uh, connection to each other. Uh, it's always as soon as I finish my treatment, I'm going to help you. Feel free to provide feedback, questions, or suggestions to lookingupvalley at gmail.com or check out our Facebook page and dedicated website. Thank you very much.